A unique foam that Sandia National Lab scientists created more than 20 years ago to deal with a deadly bio threat now turns out to work very well against another kind of threat. News 13's Kim Bias reports that Sandia's brain power has delivered an unexpected bonus. It's actually a pretty simple concoction. The foam is actually made up of many ingredients that you'd find in a lot of household products, things like hair conditioner or toothpaste or dishwashing detergent. After we mix it, um, you can see it's just a clear liquid. But it has some great power. At this point, it's very reactive. It could kill anthrax spores. It could... Mark Tucker helped create this foam back in the 90s to neutralize anthrax. It came during the heart of the anthrax scares across the nation. But now this foam has been used for something much more common in our area, meth labs. When meth is cooked, everything around it is contaminated, including the walls, flooring, furniture, and ceilings. The cleanup is very time consuming and expensive. A private company tested the foam's ability to clean up meth labs and discovered it can kill meth molecules with just one application. By the time the foam is done reacting, um, the meth lab is not, or the, the meth molecule is no longer dangerous to a person. And after about half an hour, the foam can just be vacuumed off. Tucker says he had no idea when he created this foam so many years ago. It's been very surprising because we really were not thinking this broadly when we first developed it. We were very focused on just the problem at hand and it's just been amazing that it's uh, been found to be effective against so many chemicals and so many microorganisms. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. Here's another thing, it also works against black mold. Right now, the foam is mostly used by private companies, but it is available to individuals at some hardware stores. It's sold under the name of Mold Control 500.